This is a piston guide oil seal repair video for the General Pump Model 47 series. The tools and supplies needed for this repair are a power driver, a 17 millimeter socket, a 13 millimeter socket, a socket wrench, a 24 millimeter wrench, two support pins, two pry bars, a rubber mallet, thread lubricant, a piston guide oil seal removal tool, a piston guide oil seal insertion tool, medium strength thread locker, packing lubricant, and a torque wrench. Use a 13 millimeter socket to remove the eight manifold head bolts retaining the manifold. Use a 24 millimeter wrench to turn the crankshaft. This should push the manifold from the crankcase. Install two support pins in the upper outer two most threads. To separate the manifold from the crankcase, it may be necessary to lightly tap the manifold with a rubber mallet. Once loosened, insert the two pry bars to create further separation for easier removal. Please note that when sliding the head from the crankcase, you always use caution so you do not damage the plungers. The V-packing assemblies may also come off with the head. If they do not, remove the V-packing assemblies from the plungers. Use a 24 millimeter wrench to turn the crankshaft. This will push the plungers out, which allows for an easier removal of the V-packing assemblies. Use a 17 millimeter socket to remove the stainless steel piston screw and plunger from the piston rod. Use a needle nose pliers to remove the slinger washer. Separate the plunger bolt and the copper washer from the plunger. Inspect the O-ring and backup ring and replace if necessary. Examine the plunger. Plunger surfaces should be smooth and free from scoring or pitting. If they are not, replace as necessary. Insert a piston guide oil seal removal tool into the piston rod cylinder. Firmly hammer to secure the tool onto the piston guide oil seal. When secure, firmly hammer upward to remove the seal. Put a new seal onto the piston guide oil seal insertion tool. Place the tool over the piston rod. Hammer the tool to firmly install the new piston guide oil seal. Replace the slinger washer over the piston rod. Put the copper washer onto the plunger bolt. Apply medium strength thread locker to the plunger bolt. Carefully install the plunger bolt into the plunger until it clicks into place. Reinstall the plunger and the plunger bolt onto the piston rod. Use a 17 millimeter socket to tighten the plunger bolt. Use a torque wrench to tighten to specifications. Lubricate each cylinder with packing lubricant. If you remove them earlier, reinstall the support pins into the upper outermost two threads. Reinstall the manifold head. Apply thread lubricant to the threads of all eight manifold retaining bolts. To properly tighten the manifold, insert head bolts and tighten in the order shown using the 13 millimeter socket.
use a torque wrench and tighten to the specifications.